it's Rebecca with Bex Fine Art and I'm here today with you to show you another awesome product that I found. So if you've ever had a mood ring, like I'm sure everybody has, you know that it changes colors with your mood. Or in other words, it changes with the temperature of your skin. So it usually ranges from like six different colors. And this is something called liquid crystal that is actually thermoreactive. So I found a company that actually sells this and it's made for art and other things. So I decided to make some mood changing coffee mugs. So I'm gonna show you how I'm going to add this mood changing ink to a travel coffee mug. But first, I wanna show you how it actually works. So you can see it's kind of like bluish greenish right now because the temperature in my place is probably around 70 degrees, maybe a little bit less. And liquid crystal reacts best between 70 and 90 degrees. So I'll show you what happens when we add a lot of heat to it. it goes from like a rainbow spectrum which is pretty awesome so this is how I'm gonna go ahead and add it onto a travel coffee mug so here's all of my taped off travel mugs that I'm working on ignore the rest of the kitchen because it's dirty so I have taped around the inside of the mug it's okay if I get it on the rim because I'll clean that off after I'm done painting can definitely just paint your mugs with a matte black. I actually like to use spray paint because it's a little bit easier. So any kind of flat black or matte black is best. And last thing you'll need is some rubber gloves for spray painting because otherwise you will get it all over your hands and it will take forever to get off. All right, so here is the liquid crystal. This one is a six color, and you can see the range is from 80 to 90 degrees. So it starts off actually being kind of beige, so it's hard to think like it's actually going to change colors, but this is the little container. And this is what it looks like. It's sort of like a gel type consistency. All right, so when you're actually going to be painting it on an object, you wanna make sure you have a flat square brush. And to get the most out of it, you really want to spread it out as much as possible. So I really try to keep going um, until my streaks are not making it all the way down the mug. That way I know I'm getting the most for my money. So we'll go ahead and do one layer and then I'll show you what it looks like after it dries and how it changes colors. All right, so here's what it looks like after one layer. So you can see being at room temperature, it does already have like that shine of some other colors. Um, it doesn't look like a clear jelly like what it was in the container. So let's see what it looks like with just my hand. So you can see even just my hand already makes it change colors. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the heat gun. So it's super cool and it's only gonna get more vibrant with more layers. So I'll go ahead and add another layer. Usually I only do two layers, but it'll really intensify the colors. All right, so here's the second layer. It's almost dry. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like with the heat gun. So 
So you can see the colors are a lot more intense. It kind of looks a little bit like an oil spill. It gives you that sort of feel. Um, so once it's totally dry, then it'll be ready for whatever designs I decide to add to this. If you've seen any of my TikToks or my Etsy page, these will have stars and pine trees along the bottom. So go check out my Etsy, Bex Fine Art, no spaces between the words, if you're curious about those or if you want to purchase one. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in buying that color-changing ink called Liquid Crystal, you can find it on Solar Color Dust. Solar Color Dust. The the the. SolarColorDust.com. And if you like this really awesome NASA hat that I got, I got it at Target. I'm really up in their game with some retro stuff right now. As usual, please make sure you like and subscribe, and then all of my social media channels are at Bex Fine Art. All right, see you next time.